Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to install Android onto VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a software that allows you to create virtual machines, which is simply, essentially, a computer um, packed into a little virtual world and can't get out. So if you have virus in that VirtualBox, it's not going to actually affect your computer. Um, it's very complicated, but to dumb it down, it's a computer in a little window. So as soon as you exit out of that window, it's gone, and it does not affect Windows at all. So you'll need two different things for this to work. You'll need obviously VirtualBox, which you can get from the link below, and open, go to the link below and download right here. And you also need the latest version of the Android x86 project, um, the open source project, which currently is Android 4.2, which is basically the newest um, Android out right now. So it's pretty simple, just go down the VirtualBox and then go to the link below for the Android one and down the top one which is 4.2. It's a 197 megabyte file, so it's going to take a bit of time to download, so I suggest downloading it, pausing the video or watching through the video while it downloads. I'm going to pause my download or pause my recording until my download is finished and I will continue on. Alright, so once you are finished, you can uh, open up VirtualBox, and what we'll do is create a new virtual machine. So press New, and then um, go to Type, and go to Linux, and then go to Version, and find Linux 2.6. Make sure it's not 64 bits, make sure it's 2.6. Then type in a name, so I'll just put Android x86. Next, I suggest giving you about 500 megabytes of RAM. Um, because Android is a phone operating system and doesn't run a lot of RAM on a phone, you don't need a lot of RAM on the computer as well. So 500 megabytes of RAM will allow you to run it very cleanly. So you can type it in manually. There you go. Click Next. Click Create a New Virtual Drive. And click Next. Go fix size. You want at least three gigabytes. I'll give it four. And if you're picky, you can choose where it saves to. So I like to save mine to my second terabyte hard drive. And click create. Depending on how long or how big the hard drive is, is going to depend on how long it takes to. Um, make. As soon as you're done, what you want to do is go into settings immediately and go through and make sure everything's correct. You can assign more cores if you are interested in. One important thing that you must do is go into the storage tab, go to controller IDE and click the empty and then click Live CD, make sure that's checked, and then click this button right here and click Choose. Go to wherever you downloaded your Android um, ISO file and click the Simp Open. And then make sure everything else is um, set up to how you like it, and then click OK. Once you're done with that, simply press Start, and the virtual machine will be powered on. So here we go, we are now in Android. Um, so what you can do is use your, use your arrows on your keyboard to select something. Select to the bottom and go in installation. All right, ne next thing you wanna do is hit create or modify a partition. Then click, go over arrow and click New, then go primary, and enter again, then click bootable. And also click write. And then click enter again. Type in yes. and it will do its little thing. Once it's done, then go to quit. 
and enter again. And then now instead of above modify partitions, we have an actual one. So enter on that. And then go down one arrow to ext3 and click enter again. And click yes. Click yes on installing the group bootloader. And yes again. And now it's going to go ahead and install Android onto our hard drive now. Once it's done, just click OK again. And now Android's going to boot up. So here we go, we have our Android um, boot up. This is stock Android, so no, no modifications really at all. If you're having troubles with the mouse, uh, what you can do is go up to Machine and then click Disable Mouse Integration. And then that will help you um, get your stuff working. So um, for me, I'll have to do the Disable Mouse Integration. Then I can go ahead and we, this comes out, click Capture. And then you can go ahead. So like normal Android, we'll have to go through the setup. So go hit Start. When you get to the point of the select Wi-Fi, just simply click the skip button. It actually will not connect to your Wi-Fi. Instead, when you get to the standard Android environment, it will automatically grab your current computer's internet connection. So if you have a Gmail account, I do, but I'm not going to do this right now. I just want to show you guys the um, anything else. So just you can do it everything later. And just like normal Android, go through the setup. Once the setup is complete, simply press the finish. And there you go, you're now at Android. So you also have to go through all the um, setup as well. So just go through the setup as like it asks you to. And then you can. Uh, Finish and there you go. You are with standard Android as if you're running on like a Nexus device. So there you go, guys. Um, that's about it for this video. Uh, again, Android is more of a touch screen operating system, so it's not going to work as well as if you were touching your screen, but it still works pretty cool. If you're trying to run a game on this um, Android, I'd like I would suggest BlueStacks instead. But if you're just trying stuff out, this is a really cool way of trying it out. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Both download links are below. If any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.